I'm gonna show you all of the features inside of TubeBuddy. I'm gonna tell you how to use them. I'm gonna tell you how to use them to research your competition and more. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, I recently put up a video about how to rank your videos using TubeBuddy and in the comment section there and privately, I got a lot of messages asking a bunch of different questions about TubeBuddy. Because of that, I said, hey, I'm gonna put together a tutorial. And this is that tutorial. And real quick before we hop on the computer, did you know that you can spy on your competitors with TubeBuddy, all the people in your niche, you can spy on them with TubeBuddy. Let me know if you knew that down in the comments below. Let's head to the computer. Okay, so here we are in the computer and I'm gonna break this down into a few different sections here. The first thing I wanna show you is some general features that you may or may not be overlooking because in the first video that I made about TubeBuddy, this one right here, um, I had a lot of people say that uh, they saw some features that they didn't even know existed. So I'm gonna show you basically a feature overview with TubeBuddy, and then I'm going to show you some other things about researching other people in your niche and things like that. So the first thing I want to go over here is if you go up to the top of your screen while you are logged into YouTube and you click on this, what you're going to see is you're going to see a bunch of different links here. The stuff here will actually log you into or actually take you into your TubeBuddy account. The stuff over here, this is basically um, going to be quick links that will take you into these sections inside of YouTube itself. And then these down here are actual tools that you can use right now. So we're gonna start with the Tag Explorer. Um, I actually did a video about this one just a couple of videos ago. That's the one that I just showed on the screen right here. And because of that, if you are interested in watching the full tutorial on how to use tags to get views on YouTube, I'm gonna put a link to that right up here at the top of the screen. You use this Tag Explorer to basically research the topics that you are wanting to cover so you can see the other people that are ranking for these videos, so you can see the search volume, the competition, and that sort of thing, as well as get additional ideas for more tags um, to see if the topic that you're talking about is trending, to get auto suggestions, and things like that. But this can really make a big difference on helping you rank your videos, so I really suggest that you watch that other video. I'll also put a link to it in the description down below, and I'll actually link to it at the end of this video so that you can make sure to check that out um, once you are finished with this video. But the next thing inside of that dashboard is a video topic planner. Personally, I don't use this. I do all of this um, inside of my phone actually while I'm out and about. But basically, let's say if you're wanting to do a video topic, then what I would do here is I would say, okay, YouTube tips. And then that would just put the title up there for me. And then I can start putting my notes together. So basically awesome tip here, another awesome tip here and so on. And basically what it is, is you can break down all of your information here. It's just kind of like a sketch pad while you're here on YouTube. So let's say as an example, you are watching videos on YouTube and an idea pops in your head. Well, that's where the video topic planner really comes in handy Can you because you can just say, okay, well, while I'm inside of YouTube anyway, I'm just gonna click this and I'm gonna add this to my video topic list um, so that I can come back later. In addition to that, they also have a best time to publish, which is a really cool feature. If you click on this, then what's gonna happen is TubeBuddy is going to analyze your channel and they're going to give you the best time to publish based on what's currently going on in your channel. So in this case, if I want to get the best results for everyone, I would publish on a Sunday and a Saturday. Um, if I want to get the best results for subscribers, then I would publish on a Saturday, which that's when I do my live streams. And if I want to get the best results for non-subscribers, then I would also publish on a Sunday here as well. So this is a really cool feature. And a lot of people ask, you know, hey, you know, when's the best time to publish? Um, this is going to help you narrow that down. Now, keep in mind, this is based on what's already going on in your channel. So let's say if I were to move my live streams to Wednesday, then you would see this Wednesday metric start to climb and that Saturday metric start to fall down a little bit. The next thing on the list is the tag lists. And what this is, is basically when you go into here, this kind of helps you get together a list of different tags. Maybe you see them in other videos or something like that. Um, or you're just sitting here, you know, planning the tags that you want to use in your video. Then what you can do is you can actually sort these into different lists for the different topics that you talk about. And then you can just copy these out when it comes time to add them to your video and then paste them into your video tags before you release your video. Okay, the next feature that I want to show you is the canned responses inside of TubeBuddy. This is an often overlooked feature, but check this out. So if you get a lot of comments, you can create canned responses based on those comments. So like Silverberg here says that they just subscribed. So I can click on the canned responses here. I can just click on new subscriber. And what's gonna happen is it's going to put in a predefined message 
that basically tells them if they have a question, they can use this hashtag. And it also tells them to check out the channel page just so they can see all of the other topics that I covered so far in case there's something else that they might want. And I basically give them a welcome and say, hey, I look forward to seeing you around. And then I just click reply. And that's already in there without me having to go through the process of typing all of that stuff in. Give him a heart too for leaving that comment. Welcome aboard, Silverberg. But you can break those down into a bunch of different ways. Um, once you open this up, if you do not have any canned responses in here, what you can do is you can actually go up here and you can click on this little gear icon. When you do that, it's going to open you up into your canned responses option here inside of your TubeBuddy panel. And then you can just go through and you can define this any way that you want to. So that by itself is going to save you a lot of time, especially if you have long messages like this that you like to type out. Um, that's where it can really save you a ton of time. If it's just something like, a, you know, hey, thanks, I appreciate it. It's actually faster for me to type that out than it is for me to pick that from the drop down. So, you know, something like that, I'll, I'll just type it out nowadays. But, you know, for this one, this is a fantastic one to, to be able to put in there to welcome new people when they mention that they subscribed. Or if you even have something that people ask a lot about, you know, depending on the type of content you make. If people have a common question, you can add the answer to that question here and then just pick it from a drop down, lay that question on them, uh, lay the answer out for that question, and then move on. So this next thing I want to show you is how TubeBuddy can give you some insight into what's going on on your videos on your channel. And then after this, we are going to go into looking into your, the other people in your niche to see how you're going up against them and to get other comparisons and to actually use TubeBuddy to see what's actually working for them on their channels as well. So what you want to do is you want to go up here and if your video lytics is compressed, you want to click this little arrow here, and then you're going to catch a drop down that looks like this. That's going to give you all kinds of really cool data um, that you can use. And this is going to show up on other videos as well. But basically, what it's going to show you is it's going to show you, you know, how many views you're coming in, you're pulling in at a glance, it's going to show you estimated earnings, your engagement rate, how many views per hour, um, how many views you got in the first 48 hours, which is very important. Um, they're going to show you the view duration and all of this stuff without you having to actually go into your analytics and, and hunt down all of this information. In addition to that, they're going to show you your like ratio. They're going to tell you how many comments that you have on that video. And they're going to tell you how many subscribers have been gained from that video as well, which is fantastic. As you keep scrolling down the page here, they're also going to show you all of your tags. And they're going to show you this little number right here based on your user history. This is basically going to tell you how you're ranking based on your user history, based on how YouTube is displaying stuff for you. So if you want to see how things are being viewed, not from your view, basically as a default view, then what you would want to do is you'd want to use your browser in incognito mode and then go in and look at the stuff that way instead of looking at it from inside of your own account. But in addition to this, they also have here, they have um, your stats option here to where it kind of summarizes some of this information as well. Um, they also show you your tags here, and they also have a quick link here to some additional tools that are really cool. This one right here is a social monitor. What this one does is it tells you basically, you know, when people tweet your stuff, they tell you basically, hey, you know, these are the people that are tweeting your things so that you can follow them, so that you can thank them or anything like that. If your content's getting shared on any of the other platforms with the exception of Facebook, it will tell you what's going on there. And if you're doing Facebook, they give you this link because they remove the, um, the ability to search. So because of that, you have to right click this, open it up, and then what will happen there is a search will be ran across Facebook for your actual video URL. And then that will give you some insight onto anywhere your video has been shared on Facebook as well. Next up is the search rankings. This basically tells you based on what's going on in your video right now, what's happening with your search metrics. So here at the top, you see this video has gained four spots for this particular search term. For this particular search term, I've actually lost two spots. Gained three spots, I didn't move. Lost three spots, lost three spots, gained a spot. Etc. This is also really cool to keep track of what's going on with your video. If you click on any of these, it's going to pull up additional information and it's going to give you a history of what's going on with that video as well because your rankings can change by the day as you can see here. Next up on the list is the share tracker. This is basically what you have shared it to. Um, so in this one, I just shared it to my personal Google Plus page. I also shared it to Twitter, but for some reason it's not tracking that. And I shared it on Facebook, but I did that with the URL, not directly from YouTube. Um, this is basically doing it directly from YouTube so that you can make sure that you share um, everywhere. Um, but if you're just if you're copying the links out and you're dropping them so that you can customize the messages and things like that, then that's not going to show here. This is only if you're sharing directly from the share options right here on YouTube. Another option they give you here is the vid to vid promotion. Um, this is basically to where if you want, it will change your featured video. 
to push everything across your channel to this particular video if you wanna do that. With the description promotion, what this does is basically it will put a link to this video across all of the videos on your channel as well. But keep in mind, if you are updating your descriptions, this can resubmit your video to YouTube and you might gain or lose rankings because of it. So be careful on this particular one right here and use that one with, with caution um, or with judgment, I should say. And with this one here, but you are free to go ahead with this one because all this is doing is updating your featured video. Next up on the list, and this is really handy if you have a website and you want to embed your videos somewhere, um, what you can do is you can actually pick all of your settings from here. This is normally available in the embed settings as well, but this basically gives some additional things that are not available right inside of the embed, the embed features. So as an example, you know, this will cut down on the branding on YouTube. This will disable full screen if you only want to have it play within your blog or something like that. Um, this disables the play controls and so on. But basically what happens is as you start clicking on these options, it, it recodes the embed for you so that you can customize exactly how you want this to show up wherever it is that you are embedding it. The copy annotations option, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one since we're not doing annotations on YouTube anymore. The animated GIF animator, sorry, the animated GIF generator, or GIF, however you wanna say it. Um, this basically will let you cut a animation out of your videos, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna add uh, just a, a GIF on Tumblr or something like that about something that you're saying in the video, you can do that here. So let's say you wanna add some text to it, then you can just do that grab it, and then you can basically export it out of here and save it, and then you can post that anywhere else that you want to on the web, which is pretty cool. Now we're gonna get into the fun stuff, which is looking at other people in your niche to kind of see what's going on with them, to see how your channel's comparing to them, to basically get research into what's working for them, what's not, and things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Brian G. Johnson's channel. That's gonna be the first one that we're gonna go to. And basically, like I was saying before with the video lytics, that's where this comes in handy. So I can look at this from the outside, not having access to Brian's admin panel. I can look at this from the outside and say, okay, this video, he's gotten 9,890 views, estimated. He's made about 14 bucks on this. His engagement rate is 8%. Um, he's getting about two views per hour on this. This makes up less than 1% of his channel views. His view to subscriber ratio is running at 50% right now on this video, which is fantastic, because that's basically telling me that if he's running at 50% on this, that he's he's getting a decent amount of subscribers from this video. Another thing that I look at here is I look at engagement. I look at engagements per day. Um, and I can also just get a general idea of what he's doing with his SEO to see, you know, what, what he's doing. And I can see here, you know, he's ranking 15 tags, which is fantastic. You know, Brian, obviously he knows what he's doing. So he's he's ranking all of these different tags here. But I can see specifically, like if I was gonna make a video, YouTube tags, how to get more views on YouTube videos, if I was gonna go for a similar title or go directly against this video, then I would look here and I would say, okay, these are the things that he's ranking for around this. So if he's ranking for these, and it's a good idea that I also use some of these tags as well as, as, well as some other things, to try to overtake him in search rankings. So that's really good for getting an overview of how effective a video is for somebody else in your niche basically saying, okay, well, this is what's going on with this video. Even though I don't have access to the backend data, this is basically summarizing everything that's happening in the video. And more importantly, it's also giving you these right here, which is telling you things that they have ranked for. And these are things you might wanna keep in mind as well when you're considering different things that you can do to rank your own video. The same exact thing applies here with the tools option. If I go here, I have the social monitor, and this is gonna tell me where his video has been shared on Twitter. It's gonna tell me all the people that shared his stuff. And if I wanted to sneak into his audience, what I would do, and this is a good tip for, for you guys that are coming into the YouTube space right now, for the YouTube uh, tip space, so what I would do in this case, if I was trying to squeeze into Brian's audience, is I would go and I would open this up, open this up, open this up, and I would follow every single one of these people because I know they're people that share content. So because of that, I would go in, if I was trying to you know, kind of squeeze in on his audience, I would go in, I'd right click, and I would make sure that I followed every single one of these people so that they knew about me, um, just in case they didn't. And real quick, before I move on to the next one, I wanna say if you have not subscribed to Brian T. Johnson yet, make sure that you head over to his channel. He also makes videos to help YouTubers, so make sure to head over to his channel, subscribe, and make sure that you click that little bell notification icon so you can be notified when he releases new content. Now we're gonna move on to video creators. And they have 309,000 subscribers. If you're not familiar with them also, you wanna make sure that you head over to Video Creators and you subscribe to Tim. Um, he also gives tons and tons and tons of excellent 
um, advice here on his channel. And like I said, he's got 309,000 subscribers. He knows what he's doing. So he's you know somebody that you definitely want to listen to. But another thing that you can do when you are looking into you know what's going on with your competition you can compare channels and things like that like for me i like to just kind of get a general idea hey channels that are a lot bigger than mine how do i compare and things like that so what i would use for that is i would go to the channelytics and then i would click on that and channelytics is basically going to compare our two channels and they're going to say okay well these are this is his real-time subscriber count these are how many views he has how many videos and things like that and then i can actually break down the different metrics. So in Tim's case, I can say, okay, well, for the past 30 days, um, I've had 12,000 new subscribers. He's had seven. On a daily breakdown, this is kind of what's going on. On views, he's going to crush me on views. So I've had uh, 445,000 views. He's had 841,000 views. But I can say, okay, you know, this is, this is what's going on. You know, 11 videos on my channel to nine videos on his channel. So this gives me some insight into how our uploads compare to each other and things like that. But, you know, this is really good just for getting a little bit of insight into what's going on on your channel versus other people that are in your niche. Click on this card that's popping out right now to learn how to rank your videos in search using TubeBuddy as well. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.